an experiment. I've got, actually I won't do it with all six coasters. I will literally do it with two coasters. Otherwise I'm just wasting my resin. I want to see if there's a much of a difference between um, having clear resin and then dropping your inks and doing your flour or if I can colour some resin and then drop inks on top and then do my flour I wonder if it will all if it will change, if it will be, be slightly different to each other. I'm just going to get my white um, paste out. If I can find it. Yellow. Maybe white has to be white. Yay. Okay. So this is all that I'm thinking of. Um, I don't know why I've got the sink of white out. I don't need the sink of white. Okay, so what I'm going to do is going to fill that one up with just clear. Like that. Maybe a little bit more. Okay. Then, is that a... Sorry, thingy. I've just cleaned them out and all. Then I'm going to get what's it? Um, one of my little pots and I'm going to put some yellow in this one. No, tell a light, I'm going to put blue in this one. So I'm going to have and I'm going to put blue in this one I still want it um, clear so you can see it all the way through so don't want it dark dark that's not even dark is it that won't even show you still got to remember your 10% ratio. Um, no more than 10% liquid goes, inks go into the resin. Otherwise, it won't cure properly. This is getting hot as well, so I've got to move me back. Okay, I don't want it streaky. This is getting very hot. <laughs> It's getting very, very hot. Okay, so I want that in there. Like that. I've still got room for me, my inks to be dropped on top. Just. It's quite full, this one. It's very full, actually. So I'm just going to... Oh, I've got this streaky. I do. Okay, so I've still got a dribble left in there, so I'm just going to add it to this one. It's got stuff in it as well. My project before I was using um, sand. And I think I've got it over everywhere. I don't want you, whatever you are. I think that's it. Right, so I'm now going to drop my inks. I mean, this one I'm just going to, hang on, uh, before I put ink in, or fill the paper up, and boy, does it go far. Okay, now that's got ink in it, so that's going to burn. So.
Yes, may little old gun. See some bubbles stuck as well. I can see the bubbles are stuck around the outside here. So I'll just drag them up. So you just carefully don't scratch your mould. That's the last thing you need to do. I've done that before. I don't want you in there, whatever you are either. All right. loads of them loads of them and they're all stuck to the side okay. I would do as this is just an experiment let me have my little oh. using that one it's, it, it takes too much out I don't know what that is got it whatever it was right okay so now I'm going to drop blue in the middle or green whatever you want to call it and I'll do two drops of that I know one drops enough I think Oh, I can feel the heat coming off it already. Okay, so that's the blue. And we're going to do... Now, we're going to just see what happens. As I said, this is just really an experiment. If they turn out nicely, they turn out nicely. These basically are going to be the same. Mm. Do you have a little bit left. <laughs> I think I used the I used the wrong um clear. Whoops. Never mind. I mean, obviously, it's a diff going to be a different pattern on this one. Okay, so I'm now going to give it a swirl. I'll do the outside into the middle. Side. Into the middle. Probably you could do with doing this with a bigger stick, a bigger head. Okay, so I've done that, and I want the Oh God, I'm that away before I end up getting it over my t-shirt, which I'll probably have already. Okay, so my white is, mix up my, my pigment, oh excuse me, it's 
scrape it off. That's all I'm using. Might be too heavy, hopefully not. Mix it in. I mean, while I'm doing that, I'm just doing this, I'm just getting the piece of paper. Paper. As always, I'm so not organised. Okay, that should be okay. Okay, so what I'm going to do now, put the lid on that before it gets something else splattered in it. Uh, with this, I'm going to do the flowers. So I'm going to start with this one. Off center again. Always end up off the center. Oops, don't want to blob. Always end up off center. I do. Don't know why. Can't be too long because it's getting hot. And we've still got the other two to do. It's like it's muddied. That's a shame. If it has, it has. Not a lot I can do about it. Try and take it off of the edge if it hits. Oops. Put the one in there. I've only ever done this once before, so this is my second attempt at doing these, and I'm just playing basically. Trying to get some videos out. I haven't got any out for a little while. Ooh, get off. Hopefully this is going to look all right. I've not got a clue what it's going to be like. Okay, so that one, oops. Blob. Let's put a couple more in the little one. Right, that would do for that. Now this one, clean that off. I'm gonna go, okay, I'm gonna go from the outside in.
that over here because I keep putting over that blue one. Got me bloody bracelet in the resin. I've got dingly bang, dangly bit on it. Well, that's no good now. Right, okay. So, I don't know if I've got enough in here or not. I'm just going to play a little bit more. I don't want too many, go it look stupid if it's a it turns out nice. So this one, I'm gonna go for the middle and I don't care about taking the colour off. The thing is, the white drops into the resin, then you cannot see where you've been. Which is a bit of a nightmare. So I'm just guesstimating where I've been. It's not um, set up too much for the white to start moving. Oops, that's a big blob blob. Oh, that was a big mistake. Right, let's have a bit more in the middle. And swell. And I'll swell that one a little bit. I'm leaving that one as it is. It's starting to bloom. 
Um, just going to try and take it off here so it doesn't touch the back. So hopefully, then it will bloom better. So as you can see, it's it doesn't pull away. It, it the resin pulls in, and if you have it touching the the silicon, then the um, inks or paste. Well, no, basically the ink, the paste. Sorry, will stick to the silicon, and it won't come in properly. So you've got to try and unhook it. Oh, a lovely bubble there somewhere oh and there look bubbles on it never mind the amount of times I've done this sort of thing and put my head down towards the resin and then when I've gone for a brushing my hair later on and I've got resin all in my hair so really if you're going to do resin tie your hair up <laughs> it does come out in the wash I mean it's not like you have to cut it all off I know I haven't I've managed to get it all off before but yeah Just try and ease it off. That's better. Okay, I'm going to leave them because they're starting to bloom, which I'm quite surprised about. And with the rest of this, I'm just going to mix it up so it's like a purpley colour. And that's going to go into my little rose. Yeah, nice and high. Hopefully it will get rid of any bubbles. Blimey. Didn't think I was going to have enough to do this. Yeah. Hmm, that's surprising. Let's put that over there. For some reason, this one always overfills. And it's like, it's always this end that overfills. Don't know why, it just does. Right, got a tiny bit left. But I am not going to play around no more. That's it, that's all I'm doing. And then just rub my stick off. It's ready for next time. Another sticks. I ain't bothered if it's still got paste or resin on the sticks so much because as far as I'm concerned, it just seals them. And then, I will get a baby wipe and just grab out the pot. This is when you should really put your gloves on. Nice and clean. Wait for next time. I'll do 
the same. With, oops, not that one. The same with my stick. It's all nice and clean, ready for next time. Uh, they're all done. Oh, wrong one, but never mind. That, I'm quite happy for it to dry in there. A simple fact, once it's dried and it's got a few layers, it comes off so easy, it's unreal. That's it. That's all nice and clean now. That's it, done. Ready for next time. what happens right bye bye right I'm back everybody these are nice and dry okay and that one's nice and dry let's have a look at this one first this is the extra that I had I love this mold I really do love this oh wow quite a few bubbles in it in the leaves and everything, but it's a flower and I mean, what flower doesn't have bits out of it? So yeah, I like that, that'll go with my little flower collection that I'm gradually building up. Okay, so, these are the two, oh, excuse me, I'm just coming from walking the dog and I'm sweltering. These are the three, not the two, that i done. This one is with the ink inside and then doing the flower bit on top this is just the plain resin so let's have a look on these let's take them i'll take them all out first so I'll take that one out it's in there take this one out these are quite pretty okay take that one out and then we'll take this one out now I thought I'd see if you put coloured inks in the resin, if the flower design will still go through like it does on the normal one. So I love the back of that one. Let's see when it's ready. Here we go. Ooh. Oh, what a shame. If there weren't so many blobs, that would have looked really pretty. That's because I've got excited with the white but that side's pretty but that side i'm a bit oh such a shame all them blobs so these will probably be blobby as well so there's this one still a bit blobby maybe that should have been a little bit thicker then or i shouldn't have put so much on there and then that one yeah they're all blobby but it does look like, sometimes it looks like the leaves of the flowers are folding over on it. But yeah, they're all, all blobby. That's a shame. But I do quite like that side because you can see the leaves. So I might top coat these. So it does work if you want to, don't have to use plain resin. You can put a tint into it. And it will still fall all the way through. Such a shame. I do like that side though. But it is such a shame because that would have looked really, really pretty if it didn't have all them blobs. But that's only the second time I've ever had a go. So I'm learning. 
I am learning. Such a shame because it's turned out quite pretty. Uh, somebody might like that side. I do really, I'm really disappointed about that one. It is pretty that side, but that side would have looked really nice if it didn't have all them blobs. Never mind. We shall try again. So, it's, uh, yeah, these are going to be top coated. Turn that one over. They'll all be top coated. There's no point in me showing you that the top coat because all it is is basically pouring resin on and that's it. Clear resin. That's all there is to it. So anyway, we shall see you again later. Bye-bye for now.